Hello, this is Trevor from Telecom Training. Today we are going to be talking about coaxial cables. The development of coaxial cables can be traced back to the 19th century. But the great demand started around the 1920s and 1930s. Coaxial cables became especially important with the rise of television broadcasting and the need for reliable high quality transmission of video signals. Coaxial cables consist of a central conductor which is surrounded by a dielectric insulator which in turn is surrounded by a conductive shield. The jacket protects the core from the elements. Here we have a coaxial cable connected to a television. Coaxial cables are made to prevent external electromagnetic interference from entering the cable and affecting its performance. This interference can come from power lines, radio frequency, electrical appliances, and other nearby electronic devices. Now let's assume that this power bar here is within close proximity of this coaxial cable connected to this television. Let's assume at the moment that this power bar is in off position. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to explain to you what will happen when it's turned on. Whenever alternating current, which is what we get from or power sources in the wall, right? Or 120 volts, 60 hertz. That's an AC current. Whenever that travels through a cable, it produces an electromagnetic field on the outside of this cable. And this is what will happen for all of these cables, okay? This electromagnetic field will be generated around all of these wires. Now let's turn this switch on to see what impact this electromagnetic field here will have on this coaxial cable. So once I turn this power switch on, this electromagnetic field generated by these wires would induce a voltage into the nearby coaxial cable. This voltage will go right through the jacket here, right into the outer conductor, which we call the braid shield. That's because it looks like braids. But basically this is actually called the outer conductor. And this is called the inner conductor here. Okay, so the voltage is induced into the outer conductor of this coaxial cable. So this electromagnetic field induces a voltage into your coaxial cable as i said it induces a voltage into the outer shield here this outer shield is connected to this end connector here the outside part of this end connector this is the inside part and these two are not connected they're totally separate so this carries your signal to your television but this outer part here is connected to ground so this voltage that's induced into your cable causes a current flow and this current flows through your cable and it is led directly to ground so that it doesn't cause any problems with your television. When this electromagnetic current flows through the outer conductor here, it produces an electromagnetic field around the cable. This electromagnetic field that it produces is equal to the same potential as the field coming from the electrical wires. So the only difference is that the polarity is opposite. So it has equal potential but opposite polarity. So for instance, if this is 2 volts for instance and down here is minus 2 volts, if you do the math, plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. So in other words, the two fields are neutralized, they're canceled. So this electromagnetic field doesn't have any impact on the cable because both fields being neutralized. Okay, you'll notice that the electromagnetic wave that I have coming from the electrical wires here and 
the electromagnetic field that was developed around the outer conductor here are all white instead of the color they were before. I did this on purpose just for you to understand that the electromagnetic field doesn't disappear. It's still there. We still have the current that's flowing through the outer conductor and flowing to ground because this electromagnetic field is still there. It didn't disappear. It means that this electromagnetic field cannot cause any problems with your cable because of this neutralization but it's still there it could still cause issues with another cable but your cable has been neutralized which simply means that this signal cannot enter your cable and cause any problems with the data that you're sending within that cable if this video has been helpful and you would like to see more videos like this one Please don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Trevor from Telecom Training.